Warning! Caffeinated Conquest features adult nerds using adult language. Seriously, don't say we didn't warn you. I invoke the blood hunt! Fiero's life is forfeit! And with that, he immediately sweeps off the stage. And you can see uh, Fortier's fingers sort of grasp the head of his cane, and he's like, Fuck your friend. No. <laughs> <laughs> or you have your alternate personality. <laughs> you were fucked six ways to Sunday. <laughs> That's literally the worst way this could have turned out. I'm glad. No, no. Not that it's bad for you, Bob, but this it, is, this it is turned a great to, turn for the story. Oh, the scenario <laughs> turned from me being the biggest threat to literally everyone else. <laughs> I, 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 I have an idea. Oh my, the blood hunt I say to Fortier. <laughs> oh Rather my. serious. He sort of <laughs> chuckles to himself. He must have truly pissed off the prince for him to resort to the blood hunt. He does love his creative punishments. He must want Murphy removed very badly. Some of those Toreador were saying that he defaced the gates of heaven. <laughs> oh, you know that gauche piece of art. I'm, you I'm probably sure that's improved a... it, to be honest. You didn't <laughs> hear that from me. <laughs> oh my. <clears throat> I'm sort of just smiling to myself, ready to go. I'm assuming we're getting the limo and going back home. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, at this point, no, nobody's really sticking around. It's uh, basically, yeah, Murphy's as good as dead. He's uh, blood hunt. Also, is pretty much thumbs up for Diablery, as in the prince will pardon it. So, what's your gen? <laughs> it's shit. I was converted by a drug dealer. What's your gen? Twelve. Okay. That means most vampires will still be after dead ass. You got animals, there, don't you? Yeah, I know that. <laughs> <laughs> so what what are you going to do at this point? Oh, I get to back to 48, so I'm calling Sebastian's home to see if they're still there. Sebastian? I mean, I mean uh, Jeremy McNeil. Yeah, McNeil. I stayed by the phone. Okay, so... I'm just... Come on. What are you guys doing in McNeil's house? <laughs> um, I assume he has a library, right? Uh, yes. I'm just looking through like the pages, just like through the pages to see if there's like, any like backup plans that he has. Maybe I don't know. Uh, the pages of the library. Uh, he just, sure. So you're looking for like handwritten books. Yeah. Unfortunately, uh, with him being a centuries old bruja, most of the shit is handwritten. So you're kind of there for a while, flipping through pages. How about the rest of you guys? Uh, well, I'm, I'm before the phone, uh, I guess I'm looking around that area, looking for. Yeah, looking with my aspects. With your eyes. And things that he would have recently gone through. I don't know, back like the smudges. No. Can't, right? Because we don't presume produce sweat. They do uh, they have the whirls of their fingerprints, right? So if there's like dust or something that will make the shape, they can do that. They what they don't produce is the oils that would uh, yeah. cause it. So Is it blood? What they produce. <laughs> no, they don't produce the oils at all. Or, or if they do, never mind, you get what I'm saying. <laughs> you can argue that they don't produce the blood either. <laughs> they take it. What are, what are you doing? Oh, what am I doing? Yeah. Um, well, now that I have the contact information, I'm going to discern who McNeil's generals are from this list. McNeil's generals? People who's generally, you know... Uh, ready oh, to yeah, start the, shit when the, McNeil drops a fucking whatever, uh, and he's gonna come. He's gonna come out and sell him out to the prince. <laughs> Usually, it looks like his go-to guy is Salvador. Now, notice notably missing on this list is Smiling Jack. <laughs> well, he probably doesn't have a means of contact. <laughs> well, uh, you, you've been in the Anarchs for a while. McNeil does not like Smiling Jack. He thinks Smiling Jack is an unbridled force for chaos that does more harm than good. So, mm, Murphy, yeah, your best friend. <laughs> <laughs> like, there's no Smiling Jack here. We can't call him. Damn it! Need to call Smiling Jack. He has plot armor. It's true. Who? Smiling Jack? I. He doesn't have plot armor. If you guys, if you guys kill him, then he's dead, and I just have to mourn the fucking metal plot. <laughs> I would like to give him plot armor, but I, I, I'm not like that. I'm not gonna. 
I'm not gonna railroad you guys like that. I, fucking... This asshole didn't have plot armor. And it definitely wasn't bulletproof. <laughs> so, uh, to reiterate, the last thing we could find out is that he had... Last thing he did was he, has an appo- he had an appointment with Louis? Yes, that was the last thing he did. At uh, that restaurant. Oh, yeah. As you're kind of shuffling the paperwork, you hear... <laughs> from the front door. Uh, Someone hit a cat. <laughs> <laughs> the door's locked. <laughs> I I reach for my gun in my pocket. That doesn't sound very good. I will stay as quiet as fuck until the phone rings. <laughs> um. Damn. Who's around me? Uh, Jabril and Salvador. You fucking hear that? That's yeah. not being very quiet. You hear that? You can hear the poof too. So. Like, the poof too. Like, what do your elf ears hear? <laughs> your elf isn't here. <laughs> Is there a con <laughs> drop out? Did it sound forceful or just kind yeah. of. Yeah, it sounded like somebody just threw open the fucking door. I guess I'll go see what's going on. Is it flat again? I was just like, <laughs> flat again! Uh, the front door's <laughs> a ways through the kitchen and stuff. Oh. I will, uh... I'm just change your way out house. Maybe make my way towards the garage. Okay, you're gonna make your way towards McNeil's garage? Actually, actually, no. I will follow behind him. Uh, far enough back that whoever is he runs into that won't notice me. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna try to summon my little my ghost guy that I still have orders for. Okay. And, um, go see what that was. I'm trying to sleep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to read your guys' head on. Um, I'm trying to read about my soul poking. <laughs> soul poking. I'm trying to read the Scotsman's Diary, but it's all written in Celtic runes. <laughs> uh, damn it, damn it, damn he it. He talks like the, the, the clan elder. In Tamari Jack. <laughs> <laughs> I believe Cenotaph, Bone Path. These Here we go. are all this tall. Okay. <laughs> you need a manipulation occult difficulty equal to seven. Or the ghost willpower, whichever is higher. I think we put it at a five. So your difficulty is seven. Yeah. Also, uh,. You have to know the name of the ghost, which since you summoned him already, you do. Uh, his last name is Anderson. What's his first name? Mr. Uh, Wes. <laughs> that was like me. West. No. Uh, let's go with um, Joe. Joe, Joe Anderson? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you, you call out to the soul of Joseph Anderson, pulling him back through the shroud. Explain to me what this ritual looks like as you as you summon him, as you call him. You grab the, the pocket watch, his fetter, and... Hey, bitch, get out of here. <laughs> um, I own you. <laughs> like, like, um, Joe Anderson, get your ass out of the watch, man. No, um, <laughs> it's not in the watch. Come out of the watch. <laughs> but Carlo Martino know that? <laughs> Come out of the watch! I want to talk to you! No, um. I'm gonna cry now. I'm gonna be a No, um. I, like I just make sure, like, like I hold it, I just hold it in the air, and then it just like starts. Like it's not light, like, like something like um. Like I hold it toward the light, and I see like like the ghost has come out of it like that. Like okay, like, I'll, I'll I'll go with that. So he sort of drifts out of the glass, I if I almost do forcefully pulled. Oh yeah, if you do, and that's right. <laughs> you could botch him really. Like, yeah. Oh shit. No, I got I got good. I got. Yeah, okay. good. So the as if he's fighting against an all-powerful current, the spirit of Joseph Anderson is pulled from the pocket watch. Why do you call for me? Let me pass. How many orders do I have for him still? Four? Cool. I think it's four or <laughs> three or four. Yeah. Let's see, um. Jabril, um. 
My favorite my meatball. Um, <laughs> hold on. Did my ghost we don't get shot? <laughs> what are you talking about? What the Which fuck is that thing that just came out of your watch? You saw it before. It, the ghost? Yeah, yeah there was a ghost that was in your backseat. I thought I was fucking high. <laughs> You're so high. <laughs> <laughs> it's not to wear off, buddy. I told you where the fuck are my gerbils. In any case, what are you doing? Make your reconnaissance quick. I'm gonna try to see if he can um, uh, The ghost can say what it is, if it's after us, or... If it's after. Sorry. <laughs> can I tell the ghost to go see what, made the, um, see what happens up in the front area of the, the house? Okay. So he sweeps off. Uh, Salvador Garcia, uh, whose mama didn't raise no bitch, goes storming off uh, into the living room. And... You hear him cry, Hijo de Dios! You, you see the ghost? <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna give it up. What do you guys do? Let's go see what that is. Alright, you guys are creeping, right? Yep. Give me the rules. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. Six. One, two. Oh, wow, win. Four? Four. Okay, so you guys are the knight as you creep around the corner. And you sort of get there and you see Salvador propping somebody up on his arm. And as he raises him up, you can see beaten and bloodied, his his hair matted to his face, wearing some clothes that clearly do not fit him and do not belong to him is Jeremy McNeil limping through the front door. Oh my god. Quick, take him out! (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, praise him. That's for his best. And the ghost uh, starts floating uh, floating back. It's some filthy hobo! (laughs) (laughs) He is a a rich old white man. (laughs) I was trying... I I figured he'd be, like, colorfully racist, and while we go to that well all too often, I was trying to think of a a slur for Scottish people, but... uh, Dirty hobo is the best I can come up with. <laughs> McNeil, what the fuck happened to you, boss? Uh, Don Sebastian, he had, seized me and had me beaten. Dumped me naked in the in the dumpster behind the restaurant. I almost died when I caught fire. <laughs> <coughs> oh, yeah. Did, did he happen to mention why he did this to you? I, I went there uh, to find justice for, the, for those anarchs that, that, that the Zants brought to Nines. And next thing I know, I, I was attacked. And Salvador's like, Hermano, look at yourself. The, the Camarilla had no right to do this. This is our chance. We, we can move. We can finally get those motherfuckers. No, not yet. It, it's not that simple. The Camarilla is too well entrenched. They were in the all. They were all in the same place earlier. Any? Do you say that out loud? Yes. What do you think would happen if we killed Don Sebastian? Anarchy. That is what all the fucking idiots say. What they don't realize is the Camarilla has not one head; it has many. We kill Don Sebastian, and the Primogen support the Camarilla until they can put a new monkey in place. We kill the Primogen, and the Elders rise up and become the new Primogen. But if they're better than Don Sebastian... Do you think they'll be any better with the president that Don Sebastian sent? Which of you is friends with the frog? Which is uh, Zance? Which one of you is his friend? They're all possibly an acquaintance. I, I, I would consider him the closest thing I have to a friend here. <laughs> I bought you a suit. <laughs> what the fuck? You didn't buy me a suit. <laughs> Alright. I'll be here lasagna. <laughs> <laughs> you say kind of like wiping off the little fuzz on the suit. <laughs> <laughs> Salvador is absolutely right. What Don Sebastian did broke the Treaty of Thorns. He has undermined his own Camarilla law, and there should be something done about him. 
I will give the primogen of this city one last chance. And then, if they fail me, if they prove to me that no one in this city is uncorrupted, that no one in this city is willing to stand up for a kindred to protect the people that need to be protected, then we will make our mark. Then we will move on this city. And then the phone rings. Hmm? Are, we, are we racing for it again? Uh, who's closest? I'm not fucking answering the phone. Uh, I guess I'll answer the phone. See. The ghost picks up. Is this the dirty <laughs> home? <laughs> <laughs> no, well, seriously, who's gonna, who's gonna take I'll, it? I'll pick it up. Seeing, seeing as everybody's a little tense, I'll just... Wish my wish. <laughs> oh, I'm a Japanese! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no. They're gone forever now. Yep. <laughs> uh, now I have that crit with us. Nice. Yep. Alright, so. Yeah. I'll say, hello. No, oh, I'm back on the phone now. Yes. <clears throat> Jibriel, I assume? Yes. This is Mark Zantz. Yeah, we were just talking about you. Oh, good. What has what, what is, what is developed? Oh, uh, well, McNeil, McNeil is here. Oh, really? Uh, he was apparently beaten up and stripped and tossed in the dumpster behind that uh... And from the back of the phone, I had to steal some guy's clothes! You should see the the, the look on someone's face when they're mugged by a naked Scotsman! <laughs> like, that's not a kilt! <laughs> <laughs> it's just... <laughs> I'm assuming Louis still at his home, since uh, we, I'm assuming we just got to his home. Yeah. I should bring this up to Louis Fortier. Huh? You absolutely should, because as a matter of fact, uh, they're, they're thinking about taking some sort of action against the Camarilla. Hmm. How, do you have any news on your end? <laughs> <laughs> Put Murphy Fierro on the phone. Also, stay close to the line. I think you might like to hear this. No, oh, I'll hand it to Murphy. Josh. And I'll... Use my owl specs. Yo, ma, what's going on? Just... Murphy. Yeah, boss. A blood hunt has a blood hunt has been called on you. You are unfamiliar with our vampire culture, so I will succinctly explain this to you. Yeah, please do. Uh, basically, the prince has told every member, high-ranking of the Camarilla, who will then tell everybody else that they have free reign to murder you and or diabolize you. Essentially, everyone in the city who is a Camarilla now has free reign to uh, take you into the prince who will do with you as you will, or just flat out bring you to final death. Holy fuck. Like, easy for me to kill him. That's it. I'm not with the Camarilla. That sounds like they all think that they're better than me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what he's concerned with. Oh, so you are being blamed for the burning of Elysium, uh, the destruction of the Salon, uh, the Diablery of the Prince's right-hand man. Wait a minute, what the fuck? No, uh, I don't know what that could possibly be about. <laughs> Apparently your legend is building. Also, you defaced his painting. I don't recall doing that shit. Are no, you sure? You, you do like to do drugs. Uh, that's true, but, you know, I'm not much of a defacer. I'm more of a total destruction type of guy. What's really important is that he believes you did it. Well, what the fuck are you going to do about it? Well, I'm not going to tell on you. That's you know, snitch, very fucking reasonable of you, boss. Do you I think mean, this is an opportunity for maybe, would you say, an uprising? I wouldn't go doing anything on your own just yet. I'd like to speak to Mr. McNeil if he's there now. I'll be driving over shortly. He looks pretty fucked up, but I think he can talk. Yo, McNeil! Hey! We got over here Mark on the phone. Ah! The frog's friend! <laughs> here you go. Aye. Uh, Mr. McNeil, I trust your night has not gone well. I'm not going to answer that on principle. What do you want? <laughs> a blood hunt has been called on Mr. Fierro. Uh, the prince is blaming him for the destruction of the Salon, the destruction of Elysium, the diablery of the prince's right hand man, and for the defacing of his painting The Gates of Heaven. Well, let's face it, he probably did it. What, what, what are you bringing that to me for? Also, where were you last night? <laughs> <laughs> oh my, we tried looking for you last night. The entire, the entire Anarch movement was looking for you. Where, where did they put you? I was in a fucking dumpster behind the restaurant. The whole night? Yes, the whole night. 
That's beating them to torpor, for Christ's sake. <laughs> I'm just Seriously, like... I remember when I told you you could have rescued him, all you had to do was look in the dumpster. I specifically included the dumpster in my, my description <laughs> of the area to see if anybody would look. Nobody looked. I <laughs> thought that was just a place to hide a body. <laughs> Indeed it was. Yeah, I guess it was. <laughs> By the way, that's not my decision either. That's canonical. They put him in the fucking dumpster. I, I like the way things panned out. And it's like, also, the <laughs> prince is grouping in fear really. with the entire Anarch movement, and he believes that we have consistently spat on his face, and I believe he's going to make a move against us soon. His own words. At the Primogen meeting. That I would do. I'd imagine he already has. Alright. Uh, I'll get a hold of Nines. He'll protect Fiero. In the oh. meantime, I need something from you. So what would that be, mister? You tell the frog I want to see him. Tonight? And where? My house, now. Oh, okay. That makes things much easier. <laughs> I'll be right over. Does Don Sebastian know that his favorite restaurant burned down? Oh, man. When do we burn it down? I know we burned it <laughs> he's down. Like, oh, smile injected. <laughs> oh, yeah. He's gonna, he's gonna, he's gonna, like, everyone's leaving. He's just like, wait, I received more news. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite restaurant. <laughs> Double blood. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you have my permission to bring Murphy Fiora to final death. Use necromancy to bring him back. <laughs> <laughs> death once more. Well, he watches me eat meatballs. <laughs> he can move up in the world. <laughs> I hang up the phone like Mr. 48. Uh, yes, Mark. Now, you recall how your meeting with Mr. McNeil was cut short? Yes. He desires to speak to you now. It seems as though the prince beat him into torpor and left him in a dumpster to die overnight. After confronting him about several anarchs that were beaten by rogue Toreador. I will tell my driver to get the emblemo prepared once again. This sounds important. Indeed it does. I shall be accompanying you if you don't mind. Oh, oh, you're more than welcome. Is it just me or is all hell breaking loose tonight? I would believe so. Tonight? I believe hell has been breaking loose for some time now. That's really deep. Like the past two days. <laughs> this is the third night. Hell has been breaking loose for a weekend now. In the city of angels. Yeah. Well, I just flew in and this is just all going to shit. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck this, back to Micah. <laughs> <laughs> I want the sand and the camels, much simpler. <laughs> Back to this cradle of civilization. <laughs> right. Byrick Ash, what are you doing? The only place I know where to find Murphy is at McNeil's. Okay. So I'm walking there. Uh, You can take a bus. You can hitchhike. Like this is the aura. I'm a good guy, guys. <laughs> Well, see, you, you're, you're, you're big and menacing, right? But then you have, like, a little maple leaf on you. You're like, oh, it's a Canadian. <laughs> <laughs> like, what uh, you must here? be a swell guy. Sure, what the fuck? I'm not, uh, I'm not out to make this take any longer than it has to, so I'm going to say uh, you get there a couple minutes after McNeil arrives. And you're just like, oh. Huh. So the door, the door is still open as you approach, and you can see... Uh, the Anarchs around McNeil, who is also an Anarch, so I don't know why I said that. Make sure, but I just put the door back and then kick it open again. <laughs> <laughs> Did you ever emerge into from the from the library, or are you just having the ghost play telephone? I want to say, what is it now? I went, I went, I went over to, to see what happens. Yeah, okay. Uh, see them, yeah. I Walk in. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> Just punch him. Uh, and then my, my job here is done. <laughs> Just shoot him in the head and walk out. <laughs> <laughs> Just leave all questions. <laughs> well, I can bring him back. Uh, it's one thing if you have the blood hunt. It's another thing if you have the blood hunt. And buy her cash. <laughs> <laughs> you do have animalism, don't you? I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> I need to talk to my pigeons. Yo, I could be your pigeon whisperer. <laughs> <laughs> that is the worst version of that song I've heard. 
I could be your pigeon whisperer, baby. <laughs> I'll say you pointing at Mr. Fierro. Me. You're, you're the center of attention tonight. What else could go wrong? Pull out my gun and level it at his face. <laughs> Uh, How does Murphy Fierro respond having a gun drawn on him? Uh, I'm a cop. I'm okay. Are you going? <laughs> are you not going to draw down too? No. I've seen this fucking kill people. <laughs> <laughs> you, you just bend over and pull down your pants. <laughs> no. The spirit is willing, but the the body bruises easily. <laughs> You're just doing this. Well, get out of me. Mama's meatballs. <laughs> <laughs> Mom's spaghetti. <laughs> Mom's spaghetti. <laughs> no, ah, I see you two have grown tired of his antics. <laughs> Quite you also now, pick Jimmy. out your gun and... <laughs> <laughs> Byrick. Byrick now. I, I know that there's shit going down. But, but... But I thought we had a little bit of a, you know... I'll fucking help you whenever the fuck you want. I only kind ask that if you decide same. to kill him, that I devour him. He's not worth my my palate. But you've been causing a stir recently. Well, I I I, I could probably agree. Well, this happens. Uh, McNeil is going to stock off into his office. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'll get I'm, I'm, I'm calling nines. <laughs> Just clean up. <laughs> <laughs> the guy we were looking for? <laughs> Look, buddy, I, I, I understand that shit's gone down, and for some reason, some more shit happened than I fucking remember last night. Now, I know I left that place burning pretty early. Because <laughs> I remember doing some more stupid shit later on. <laughs> what? <laughs> An echo of, like, you know, a screaming police officer in a trunk. With a bunch of fucking <laughs> body parts. No, wait. He's, 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 that guy is still in the trunk, by the way. Oh, yeah. yeah, don't forget to subtract blood point for him and Betty. Well, does he, lo does he lose blood since he's in torpor? Yeah, you you spend and spend. He's not he's not in torpor, he's staked. I thought that put you into torpor. No, it just he paralyzes you, basically. Okay. I, I'm, I haven't fed them yet. I think he's still fully conscious. That's funny. Yeah, he's <laughs> that's like, that is some people's worst nightmares. <laughs> he's stuck just in... being paralyzed in a fucking trunk. Now, ooh, this is fun. I might be able to give him a derangement. <laughs> now, 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 I know a lot of shit's going down, but but you gotta hear out what fucking McNeil's been talking about lately. There's chaos around, man. And it centers around you. This is true. But are we not trying to start a revolution? No. <laughs> I simply intended to come to this country and... <laughs> I've heard it was very free. <laughs> and then you came upon the crew of the Anax. <laughs> do you not like their ilk? Or do you prefer the ostentatious nature of our fucking prince? At least in their way, buildings aren't burning. society is. I prefer my buildings to be toasted. I, I believe the Anarchs have caused 100% of the burning buildings within the last couple of days. That's pretty much us. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I would agree. Not the Anarchs, just one cookery. And let no. me and remind you the reasons, <laughs> the reasons why these places have burned to the oh. ground. Smiling Jack did too. What? Smiling Jack. He burned down the restaurant. That's the one that broke the camel's back. <laughs> the first really night reason. was to cover our tracks for apparently not being able to. Sir, open please, the door. my camel was killed. <laughs> Possibly. And then is it your master here too? Who will avenge your camel? <laughs> it was against werewolves. That were sent by the prince. As I was saying, yes, we have burned down a few places around here and started a little bit of controversy, but. I am new to this world. <laughs> but it's my first day, guys. <laughs> I just barely got this job. I just walk here, guys. I don't know in what culture you were raised that being new to a place means you get to destroy it. Welcome to America. 
<laughs> Surely none of my elk would ever destroy buildings. <laughs> <laughs> You're Iranian. So far it hasn't happened. Perhaps. Perhaps. <laughs> I, as you know, in my previous life was a police officer. They're still by her cash. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it, it is. It just while, while the spotlight appears and you soliloquy, there's. <laughs> like, like, picture that scene from Pokemon. Oh, the, the the deleted one. Yeah, with the guy, the like the weird cowboy guy pointing the gun right in Ash's face. <laughs> I imagine something like that. You're not doing the five, four. <laughs> I'm I'm letting him say his piece right now. While I level my piece. I've seen a lot of chaos and destruction, <laughs> and it may not be something that you know about me, but I was investigating all the killings that were happening because of your people. I'm sorry, not your people. Whoa! Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> you know what I... I pull back the hat. <laughs> <laughs> the murder's being caused by all the vampires running rampant. The drugs, the violence, the killing, the senseless bullshit that was going down. <laughs> and you just... <laughs> I may have exacerbated it. Exacerbated. But only... <laughs> That's not a word. Exacerbated? Exacerbated. I don't, I don't know that. Exasperated? I think he's trying to say exacerbated. Exacerbate. Whatever. I exacerbated oh. all over the city. I exacerbated all over the city. <laughs> my attempt. Literally saying light. fuck you to Los Angeles. My attempt to bring to light some of the nefarious shit that's going down. Now, I'm not trying. To get you guys out there, obviously, you have been protected. You have no ill will put against you. I am the Mata. Use me as a better tool than just blowing my fucking brains all over that wall right there. We could kill him and say the Camarilla did it. I don't care about your movements. Then why the fuck are you pointing a gun at me? You got in his way. I'm not in your way, boss. I've been asked to dispose of you. By who? Why would I tell you? What did they offer you? Three points. I mean, you three three points. points. You yeah. could tell him three this points. is the lesser of two evils. <laughs> I will say three points of blood. <laughs> Which is, I mean, that's like, what, six gerbils? <laughs> it's, uh, three. Well, yeah, I get my blood from back, right? Back, right? If you drank them. I did. You're just drinking them like Capri Suns in the water. Uh, each, one is, <laughs> each one is one point. I, I'm at max. Okay, just so you can save the other two. Okay. I, I still have them. Just, you should have a, a place to write inventory or something. Go ahead and stick them there so we don't forget. Ooh. I'm gonna forget anyway. Did it just end up in like the 90s? I still have two blood points. <laughs> <laughs> What's their expiration date? It's like you should you should like pull it, push them out of the mule, just like. <laughs> super blood coagulated. Blood you keep them alive. Well, super become a yokai. <laughs> <laughs> it's like blood, blood paste. Well, see, it's super thick at the bottom and like watery at the top. The <laughs> shake it. <laughs> Like How chunky do you like your blood? <laughs> you have to shake it like orange juice to get all the pump out. <laughs> the pulp? <laughs> the pulp, yeah, the... Whatever the thing's called, yeah. And I made sure to write B negative. Just in case. Just in case. It was B positive, but sure, okay. I wrote B negative anyway. <laughs> just in case there's an emergency transplant you have to do, you're just like, I happen to have the correct blood type. <laughs> Is blood what you want? Because he can give you a fuck ton of dribbles. <laughs> Is it more power? Animalism? You want, animalism. You want to talk to pigeons? <laughs> <laughs> I can teach you. He actually can teach you animalism. I can see no situations where Byrick would ever even try to let him teach him something. You want to talk to pigeons? <laughs> I like to think that he doesn't have animalism. He just gets high and thinks he's talking to pigeons. <laughs> hey, little buddy. <laughs> Let me go, come on, a needle for me today. 
give me three reasons not to end you right now. You have 30 seconds. No, put it in the trunk. It's at the... Nick, I love you. I would that. rather <laughs> help you till the day that I die. I can give you any number of favors that you want. And I feel that... Sorry, you're a key of seed, so it's like... <laughs> I feel that... <laughs> that you're better than me? I feel that you're better than me. <laughs> I'll say that much about people. I am. And, and I know it. <laughs> I feel I also have a greater purpose in this machine. You've given me one reason so far. <laughs> That's three reasons. They weren't good enough. The first one was the only acceptable one. Keep talking. His trigger finger's tightening as you speak. I will find ways to give you what you need. I... A little bit of them for you. <laughs> I, I don't really take... Take lots of shit from authority, but when I see you, I shit my pants. <laughs> and I can't shit no more. I can't even shit no more. I don't know what's coming out the back of me. Coagulated blood. Chipotle aftermath. Look, let the next couple of nights resolve. Then come back to your decision. There's lots of chaos going on in the city, and I think you might want to be a part of it. What? They, you can kill the ones coming after him? <laughs> I'll put my gun away. Jabril takes his out. Okay, now my gun. <laughs> <laughs> Let out an audible squeak. <laughs> <laughs> There's just blood dripping down your pant leg. Like. <laughs> I saw my laugh flash before my eyes. It was awful. <laughs> I've done nothing. <laughs> he pulls up his gun, he pulls his own brains out. It was a lot of drugs. Half of those memories aren't real. <laughs> I appreciate your modesty. I don't believe you're using that word correctly. <laughs> it, uh, it, it's just one of Murphy Fierro's quirks. It, it exacerbated your modesty. <laughs> <laughs> you're not pulling the trigger. You're being modest. He appreciates your conservation of ammo. <laughs> there you go. That was another... You could have used that as a reason. It would have been... That would have been a good one. Okay. <laughs> It's like, but I could use the butt. <laughs> <laughs> Just beat you. Until I'm dead. Now where is the new one? The new one? That you created last night. How'd you figure out about that? Oh. Well, that's why you're here. Alright. So come with me. <laughs> Take you. Are you gonna take into the trunk of your car? Yes! <laughs> He's right there! It's a the trunk of the police car, though. We'll, we'll go to the garage and whatever happens next. Okay, so you uh, you go to the garage, open your trunk, and there's just a, a cop, knife sticking out of his chest, frozen solid. Like, good uh, morning. Now. You may think that I just did this because of some stupid reason. And you'd be right. <laughs> but uh, Carlo Martino got himself into a bit of trouble. Apparently stole a fucking car with a chopped up body in the back and got pulled over by some fucking cops. This was one of them. The other one got away. That's probably how you figured the shit out. The chopped out. up body is also still in the car. I think this is the same. Oh no, it's the police car, right? Yeah, yeah it's the yeah. police car behind it. Okay. I left the guy dead in the back seat. And this is the the cure to your incident. Well, Kyla was supposed to take care of the other fucker, but he missed. I'm gonna unstake him. 
His hands uh, are behind his back because I did cuff him before. You did cuff him. So as you unstake him, he just goes. I gotta put my my hand over his mouth to shut him up. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna have to pick a derangement for him. Uh, continue. Megalomania. <laughs> Dominate one. It's like split personality. Uh, claustrophobia is a good one. Nyctophobia might be better. Uh, What's nyctophobia? Fear of the dark. <laughs> By iron. Oh, that's really bad. It's like I gotta stay, gotta stay in the light. <laughs> like, <laughs> Hey guys, I'm a necrophiliac. Hey, hey, yeah. An Adamphiliac. Oh, you're yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I once had an idea for a Malkavian that was severely nyctophobic until I realized I'd be a bitch to play. I'd be, I would just piss through willpower. But Charlie, it'd be an interesting character. It would be an interesting character. It would just. It, it might Shinji all over again and <laughs> to where it's just completely unplayable. Continue, I'm listening. Do I, do I need to put him out of his misery or something? Well, you can't no. just kill him. <laughs> you can't keep him, you already have one. <laughs> do you wish I to win him? You gotta suck him off. You wish what now? Now you must give me three reasons not to end this one. <laughs> He's like... Zip. I like to, and he's listening to this. Yeah. <laughs> he, he's like actively trying to struggle, but you're... You just look at him and wants you to know if you die, it's his fault. <laughs> Are you saying you want to take him? Sigh at him. No. Mark Zantz did just ask you to wait. <laughs> you don't have to, but that might be your reason. I do not want, I do not want to be someone's sire. I, I don't understand the question. Three reasons to not kill him. Oh, three reasons to not kill him? Hey, Police forces infested with our fucking enemies. Or at least mine. He may serve as a good hostage or a way to get into that place and, you know, gain influence. He'll save bullets. <laughs> <laughs> That's one. <laughs> Are you, did you, did you follow along? I probably followed along to see what what the hell he did. <laughs> hey, hey! You remember when you went and told me to go fucking pick up Betty and fucking that asshole? How how, how did this escalate? Did you follow as well? <laughs> yeah, I followed. So now you can you know say your piece in the matter. So you you can get animalism right now. And, and Salvatore is just there for laughing. <laughs> oh. You want their powers? I do not. Now here's an interesting concept. Animalism is in his blood as a clan, but he doesn't know it yet. I'm gonna suck it out of him. I'm probably. I I I, I think I'd probably give you access to animalism if you uh, if you diabolized him. Alternatively, Murphy could just teach you. I'm just saying. Yeah, but like that requires having Murphy as a teacher. <laughs> I don't want to end up like Betty. Then he gets his butt play back. I look around. Betty is the the Murphy's teaching is the reason this guy's a vampire. Yeah. This was my teaching, but yeah. Well, <laughs> like, actually, good point. His, his lack of teaching. My lack of teaching. Led to your teaching, which led to this guy. Like he was an actual teacher, and then he went out to do shit, and then you were like the sub. Yeah, the sub but you sucked. <laughs> I didn't know the subject matter. I was, uh, <laughs> I was an English teacher in a math class. So I'm like, oh well. <laughs> Just Google it, guys. <laughs> Self study. Oh, I had a science teacher like that. I'm assuming we are to dispose of it. Uh, hear me out here. When the dice fucking fall on this city, and everything fucking settles after everyone has this fight. We want to have some semblance of control, don't we? You threw that out the window. There will be new control when the dust settles, I am sure. Eventually. The police are very informed and very tapped into the community. They would make great allies. But is this one not very high in the chain of command? 
possibly not, but maybe an inroad. But can we not simply just get someone else hired? But there are already vampires of the fucking of the clan. I'm sorry, under the prince working there. Well, if you're gonna kill them all, then it shouldn't matter. Why kill them when you could change their minds? Or do they not change their minds that easily? <laughs> I like to think Jabril does that in character. <laughs> I have the mind changer. <laughs> Is this man still screaming? Uh. Well, let's let's consider the situation. He's been uh, trapped in a trunk for almost 24 hours with no light or sound. Just complete sensory deprivation. Couldn't move. Not even his eyes. Like, couldn't even blink. Well, he could blink. He just couldn't tell he was. Okay. Uh, Actually, it doesn't need I to think be. it shuts you down completely as far as I understand. Boom. He's catatonic. More or less. Uh, and now, power down. now that he has some semblance of himself back, uh, now that there's light and sensation, uh, the first thing he hears is people debating the merits of killing him. <laughs> also, probably doesn't even know he's a vampire yet. So I think this is a terrifying situation. Please give me an excuse. To kill him? Yeah. <sighs> Just fuck it, though. No, not, I'm not telling you. Oh. If he starts frenzying... Oh. <laughs> he, hasn't, he hasn't had anything to drink yet. I'm fucking forced. Yeah, that's a good point. Well, didn't you try to like, give him blood? You gave him one. I gave him one. You know he blah, like that. Oh. And he and it's been a night. Yeah. Been suspended. What is his blood pool? Does your blood pool get spent? In, yes, yes, it does. Oh man, he's still missing part of his head. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he's at four. Okay. So erase that one. Uh, he is. Not technically considered hungry. I'm not sure how you made mine. I think you mean thirsty. You all the check marks are the regularly available yeah. ones. Yes. Okay. Hmm. Hungry. Thirsty. You're so how many of them are, are full? All eight. I'm sorry, ten. Is this? This is. Oh, that is. Sarge? Oh yeah, I guess I just uh, went bang, 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 bang. Uh, yeah, let me go up to like two. Sure. Okay, so he's hungry. Uh, he's not frenzied yet. But he's licking your hand. Oh, let's let's do it. Let's give him a uh, self control. I mean, I still feel it, but it's just. It's no. down. <laughs> Is it like you licked me? <laughs> <laughs> Life threatening situation. Difficulty four. Self control straight. Yeah. So he's good. So he's able to hold his shit together. I'll lift my hand up and now give him, and have him give me three reasons why he he should live. Live. This is like I realized putting your life in the hands of this man was a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> it's most unfair, but so is your existence. Um, yeah, am I doing that right? I should also do it to the <laughs> to the other one he's created. You better know. But Betty. You should just be like, just end it. <laughs> Betty's part of the police force too. They can't do police work! That's okay. What good are police officers? They, they, they can go the rest of the. <laughs> they are familiar faces. They, sure. Like, they don't even have, like, a lot of power, so we could, like, say, like, oh, they're off doing other stuff. They're just schmucks. Yeah. Schmucks. And this guy's yeah. missing part of his head! Is he? Yeah, you blew it. You, no, no, no. you you blew off a corner of his head when he turned. Oh, off. that's he, right. He might, I jumped over the car and blew. His he might have like the residual wound flaw. You're a monster. So, I, uh, there are further rolls for frenzy. So we see, we will see what happens in two turns. So as you sort of like take his, uh, who who the fuck are you people? I I've been in that that trunk for oh, 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 I, gun. Three reasons. Uh, let's see. Yeah, he's gonna go to the well of I have a family. He is going to, uh, let's see. What else? I can... I have connections in the police force. And... 
and get a warrant at somebody's house. But can you actually get a warrant though? Probably take, take a couple of days yeah, though. We could, we could just go fucking download a judge for that. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah, he's gonna give you anything you want. He'd suck your dick. What you really, really want. You Save should tell him what you want, what you really, really want. You wanna... What's your character's name? Jabril what? Jones. That's not his actual name. But he had to come to America and somewhat assimilate. Mr. Jones, you may have your animalism. We promise we're not trying to cuck you when it comes to what is inevitably happening to Murphy Fierro. You can slowly, we're slowly teasing you with what's going to happen with that. So we hope you like these Vampire the Masquerade videos, if you like them. Give us a like. Even better, we'd appreciate it if you gave us a comment. We always make sure that we reply to you. Not only that, but if you haven't subscribed, you should hit that button as well. If you'd like to financially support us, our storyteller Chaz over here is a published author on Amazon, on Amazon Kindle. The blah, blah, blah. And you should totally buy his books. You know, send us some money and we can we can upgrade our equipment. And we can we can have new books and possibly buy pizza so we don't starve. <laughs> we also have tons of social media that you can check out if you want to, if you need a good laugh while you're slacking off of work. You could just go to Reddit and go to the front page where you can follow us on Instagram and sometimes see funny pictures. It's just as good. Maybe not really. Who knows? Anyways, stay caffeinated. <laughs>